Ben Shapiro's been in a bit of a pickle recently. One is he had to kind of thread the needle after uh, his colleague and I guess employee, right? I don't really know what the structure is, but yeah. Candace Owens works for the Daily Wire, which is his uh, organization. And she was essentially defending Kanye West's anti-Semitic remarks and trying to say, I'd say really anti-Semitic when he said he was going to go death con three on all Jewish people. She said, in you're all being caps. dishonest if you think what he said was anti-Semitic. Yeah, she said that, well, do you think that that tweet meant he was going to do a Holocaust on Jewish people? Oh, that's the bar to anti-Semitism now, apparently. So, like, Ben Shapiro had to kind of walk back his more lukewarm critique, and then he was a bit more open about saying that it was anti-Semitic. And now he's faced with another uh, right-wing darling, Donald Trump, uh, saying uh, reportedly anti-Semitic remarks. And, like, this this might have been actually just what was regurgitated by Dershowitz, right? That that, and also, um, you know, like, what Alan Dershowitz on Newsmax has been saying, that basically he's asked him, like, why don't all Jews support me? Even though hey, I'm, my Jewish friend, yeah. why don't all Jews support me? Right, and then also <laughs> his true so, and his true social post recently where he basically was like, American Jews need to respect Israel more because... Um, uh, it like they are, there will be dangers to come. Or he was basically issuing some like veiled threats about like, American Jews not. Uh, yeah, Trump said uh, it was, tr right. Th those were I guess the remarks that that Ben Shapiro has to respond to here. So let's see how he does this little dance uh, because he's got. Uh, you know, going after Trump, that must be difficult for him. But uh, another anti-Semite in his that's politically in, uh, politically convenient for him, he has to try to disavow. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure that there is a truth. Uh, a, a I'm, I'm confused by the suggestion there was a dual loyalty trope in suggesting that American Jews should care about the fate of Israel. They should care about the fate of Israel. I mean, Jews have always cared about the fate of Israel. I mean, the nation of Israel like B'nai Yisrael, cares about Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel, and the state of Israel. And they all have the same name. So frankly, I'm, I'm a little confused by people who are wildly off-put by the notion that American Jews should be supportive of people who are pro-Israel. I mean, it depends. Are we talking about ethnic Jews, or are we talking about people who actually take Judaism seriously in any way, shape, or form? Ethnic Jews, probably not. I mean, just ethnically Jewish. they got a mom who's Jewish, or if they're half-Jewish, they have a dad who's Jewish, or whatever it is. But... That doesn't mean that you care about Judaism in any serious way. If you do care about Judaism in any serious way, of course you should care about Israel. So Donald Trump saying, I don't understand why more American Jews don't care about how pro-Israel I was. I'm, this too puzzles me, except for the fact that there are so many American Jews who aren't observant in any way and don't care about Judaism in any way. And just because your name ends in green or Stein or Blatt or, or gold, that does not actually mean that you practice Judaism in any way or take Judaism seriously in any way. That's the answer to Trump's question. However, the notion that, that Jews should not be pro-Israel is bizarre to me. Uh, of, of course, if you care about Judaism, you should be pro-Israel. I'm not going to be shy about that. Zionism is deeply rooted in biblical belief. Uh, the, the, none of that is, is wildly... Con none, nonetheless, this has led the left to label Trump an anti-Semite. Now, again, Kanye, Jews control the media, are perverting my wife, victimize black artists, and do so because they are a clever and cunning nation. That's anti-Semitism. Trump saying, I don't understand why American Jews don't care more about Israel is not anti-Semitism. That is just an observation about American Jews that, that happens to be somewhat accurate, actually. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, right? Because, frankly, the reality is, is that Ben Shapiro's view of American Jewish voting patterns is pretty much identical to that of Donald Trump. Yeah, it's the same thing. Which is that you're not a real Jew unless because... Unless you're a Zionist nationalist. Right, unless you're... Right, exactly. Unless you support apartheid. And the reality is, is that in terms of voting blocks in this country, Jewish Americans are some of the most reliable Democratic voters, and they don't see... The, the the they don't see based on their voting patterns their loyalty to Israel in the same way yeah. that conservative theocrats and extremists like Ben Shapiro see it, and that makes him really mad. I mean, he's had a history of essentially saying that they're not uh, real Jews. They're not real Jews, and so I, I don't know, uh, Ben. J uh, w what does that say about your relationship with Judaism that you don't consider? the the american jews in this country who just don't agree with you politically to be real jews i mean maybe you want to examine that also i do feel like shoe on the other foot like 
if some if it's hypothetical, but like, I think if somebody who wasn't Sh- Ben Shapiro essentially said something like, "Just because your last na- last name is like Goldstein doesn't mean you're a good Jew," essentially, I think if another person said it and it wasn't Ben Shapiro, that to me would seem to be uh, right. slightly anti-Semitic in its own. Oh, way. I was oh. thinking it even with <laughs> Ben Shapiro. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, of course, of course. I, mean, I didn't say, but I, I guess but in the sense he of, would be. He would not consider it him saying it himself, and yet. Like, I think if a Gentile, so to speak, said that, I'm sure he would be like, you can't say that. Ben Shapiro is mainly performing for evangelicals who don't know any Jews at all. Um, oh, absolutely. Like, right? Like, and so it's easier to create this character of like, what do these, what, these Jews don't support Israel. But like, if you, like, even like Jewish folks I've met who like, say when I met them 10 years ago, were fairly um, pro-Israel. Uh, have since and like this is a uh, this is you know me I'm a left winger so maybe this is who I associate with but even those folks have been troubled as they've go- yes. gone to learn like the situation of the Palestinians uh, in the like, Gaza and stuff like that so like th- for coming like I I don't see any I, I mean I'd be surprised on uh, or I'd be interested to look at polling but like if you know Jewish folks. Uh, in America, chances are you're going to know some that have criticisms of Israel. They do. I mean, and you look at the polling data, it, especially with younger Jews, they are immensely critical of Israeli apartheid. And the people that are driving this hawkishness are psychopaths in the evangelical movement who want to fulfill an end times prophecy and who also hate Muslim people. So it's a twofer for them. They get to use biblical scripture as a way to uh, align themselves with like another right wing uh, colonial government on a in israel and at the same and fulfill their like islamophobic desires and at the same time they feel like once that's fulfilled uh, jesus will come back and we'll be the chosen ones it's cuckoo for cocoa puffs but and it's also bigotry at the same time and then and so like that's why ben it doesn't have a connection with the not real jews in your estimation or the not good enough jews in america is because there is a fundamental understanding of that being the relationship that's driving this with the Republican Party. Oh, and we have a good old video from uh, 2019 folks might want to look up. The direct line between Ben Shapiro, ben Shapiro and anti-Semitic hate has about 134,000 views. Uh, yeah. Go check out that stuff. I remember that one. That was good. I mean, I guess that's my reading, too. It's like that whole bit was very confusing as somebody who just kind of views Ben Shapiro's audience as large as just being like racist, most likely anti-Semitic reactionaries. There's a lot of logic to, you know, fake logic to put in when they would just be happy with like, you know, a way more succinct. It's not anti-Semitic to say Jews belong in Israel. That's like, that's just like, that's just what it, that's like, that's the point he's trying to make. He's like the, that's right. Ben Shapiro's like, that's the little, the little like deviation that Ben Shapiro has from your everyday average, like a uh, uh, right, I'm sorry, like right wing demagogue slash like a uh, conservative troll online is that he has nicely carved out an exemption for the belief that, you know, the Jewish people belong in Israel and therefore you should not, you know, victimize them as part of hate crimes, but they should definitely be in Israel. And that's just like that appeals to the evangelicals. But I think even his audience probably isn't full of those either. It's just full of Pepe people who just like, you know, yeah, it, right. who like the Kanye. Thing. Right. Right. I mean, that that whole rant of his wasn't just wasn't very well thought out because he's got to thread that line. Right. He's all about um, free, independent thinking. But also all Jews should have the same feelings mm. about Israel. You know, it's not, for me, like, I think that's the point, too, is like, it's not about like the actual logic of what he was saying or the individual words. It's just, you know, Ben Shapiro talks and he seems like he's going through steps in his head and he throws in a little like anti-Semitic joke, like just because your last name is Goldberg doesn't mean you're a good Jew. And like that gets the crowd listening again. But like at the end of the day, it's all so people can pretend like they're doing something other than just arguing that, like, you know, Israel is a Jewish state. All good Jewish people so therefore must support Israel. And if you don't, you're not good Jew and therefore you aren't worthy of the protection of the, the right wing apparatus and who knows what you get because like something is coming I guess right I mean it, he, he he's in a difficult position here but not that his audience really cares right they're gonna just uh, move on with their life once this kind of uh, news cycle is over but for me it just is wonderful to watch him squirm over this past week or so having to defend true anti-semites uh in, in when his whole thing has been critiquing the left from like a faux 
uh, concern about anti-Semitism, especially, of course, yeah. Muslim members that, of Congress. That's his role. Is he's a, he's he, he caters to feelings of conservatives, basically, who want to make sure that um, the I heard Democrats they were facts. exactly, but it's the Democrats are the bad guys, <laughs> and so like no matter what uh, you know, Steve King says about you know we can't replace uh, white babies with non-white ones in America, or uh, or whatever Candace Owens' uh, latest thing is, um, he has to say, well, that stuff, you know. People might have concerns about that, but ultimately, it's not as bad as what Rashida Tlaib's doing. Right. Keep your eye on the well, prize. You know, Kenneth Owens has defended Hitler in the past. She's like, I remember when that happened, right. like a few years ago, when it was just like, well, if Hitler just wanted to keep that to Germany, you know, a very traditional anti-Semitic trope, then it would have been fine. But it's right. when he started going into other parts of Europe, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and, you know, it... it yeah, it's, you know, it's not about facts. It's about, I mean, it's not about feelings, it's about facts. As long as you define facts as like the presentation of one's feelings in a monotone right. and rapid, like sort of seemingly well-structured way. But, you know, once you actually get down to what he's saying, it's just like, this is the way I feel about this stuff. And that's the only way it can be. Exactly. Um I do appreciate the permission uh, from Ben Shapiro for us ethnic Jews to be critical of the state of Israel. Thank you, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got that. I'm uh, distributing privileges. There you go. You can say one <laughs> bad thing about Israel a year. <laughs> <laughs> uh.